Hi, Grandma's hands. This is my Renaissance Grandma. Just a little patio update. Okay, so this corner down here on the floor, this is where about four of my plants sit. And so every day I come out and I put them up on the ledge, okay? So A, I can walk and B, they can get some sun. Well, I posted that video yesterday from Walmart where that whole shelving had fallen with all of those plants on it. And I had made the comment that I don't think this wind was that heavy to blow them down. Well, I guess it was heavier than I thought because when I got home, I did not realize that I had some plants that had also bit the dust. And I did not even think to look out here and check them until I heard some noise. And I peeped out here and I immediately noticed that the two right here were missing. And I thought they had went overboard, but they had actually fallen and this cage had caught them. Well, one was this uh, eggplant. It was laying inside of there, which it looked like it's doing okay. But the second thing that was sitting inside of there, so they were sitting on top of each other. And as you can see, this looks pretty bad. This was the most beautiful basil right here, which I might as well just take out. Well, I'll take it out later. It's the kale look like it's not going to make it. And this was okay because as you know, this is where I've been taking my seeds off for the purslane. So this had already went to seed. All of this was the uh, vegetables from my uh, hydroponic garden. So look like that's gonna be an empty pot soon because it does not look very well. And um, look at the green onions. Remember the video I did of the green onions that I had purchased and I had taken all of the bottoms off. And while well, all of them are coming up, I have them in like different places. So they were doing well. Another thing, this is probably not going to survive. See, this is why I put so many watermelons in this one pot. I knew that that was not something that was a smart thing to do, but I knew that I would lose some watermelons one way or the other. So I've already lost three watermelons. I had the one that something had eaten and then another one I lost from the rain had just beat it down practically up under the mud and now look at this baby i have it propped up here and i'm pretty see it's totally bent over and i don't know if it's a crack down in there so i said i would just leave it alone and when i see it looking like it's going to die then i will go ahead and pull it which is very weak so i'm sure it it has a disconnect somewhere but this is why I see, look at the poor thing. This is why I had so many watermelon in this one bin because I knew a lot of them were not going to survive. And let's look at this poop here. For those who always ask, do these owls work? Look where the owl is. Now, I did not put this owl here for a reason to keep them away from this i put it up there because i lost the bottom and i didn't have anywhere to put it so i had to put it somewhere and so i looked over and i said oh i'll just sit it there and it's supposed to be protecting my watermelon but as you can see there's poop on my watermelon so it definitely did not keep a bird away so that is all for my little short update. I have other little updates, but I just wanted to update on the weather. 
<clears throat> and uh, yeah, it was pretty heavy. And I could see, I didn't even see this. It had, it's blown away one of my, and I knew it was heavy when I got home because I saw how these were flying really hard. Oh, okay, this goes on this one. No, it doesn't. That means I probably lost a whole one somewhere. I don't know where this one belongs, but it's one of these uh, things right here. Oh yeah, it does have five. Maybe it did come off of this one. Oh yeah, okay, so it did probably come off of that one. But anyway, oh, it looked like there's one missing off of that one too. It's probably downstairs or over here in this corner somewhere. But yeah, so we either have the rain against us or the weather going back and forth, the wind, the hell we got it all so and as you see this is what i just harvested the other my last week this is going to be harvested again today well not today i don't have time i have too many orders to do it today but Yes, I need to get in here and harvest this. And as you know, those are a lot of those leaves that were split from that hail, which they were little at the time of the hail, so I had harvested all the bigger leaves. And now these leaves have grown up, and now they're ready to be harvested. And once again, this is what I told you. I didn't even grow this. I didn't plant this. I, I It obviously... <laughs> was a perennial um but anyway that's it you all have a blessed day i'll pray for you let me show you one more thing remember the tomato where i just put a little piece of tomato in the plant in the pot because it was mushy on the end of my tomato and i didn't want that mushy piece so i cut that one little slice off and put it there and it's going to do something we'll see Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.